Alright guys, I'm gonna do another walkthrough of everything. So, we've been gone, we've been back. Um, we've had a lot of rain, cooler than normal spring. But wanted to walk through and show everything to you, kind of what's been moving around and what's been changed and what's growing. In this barrel, this is all the red bush beans and they said to only put them about four inches apart so that's what i did we'll see how that works potatoes back there these are the dragon tongue bush beans and we haven't planted these yet again still um garlic and the onions mixed in there the kurabi has finally decided that it's going to grow i guess because it's turned off a bit cooler again so i'm going to leave it leave it alone see what it does these are peppers back here again you know the jalapenos the banana peppers these are the pumpkin spice jalapenos something had eaten when i got back eaten the top off of this but i've got new growth so obviously i have left it alone um we'll let it let it live and live as long as it can now if you notice a lot of the kale it's thinning out and it's because as these things go to seed like that i have been pulling them out and using them um obviously we still got some blue in there some of the reds um some of the regular curly you know that's not gone yet so we're still in kale but i have a feeling by you know maybe even by the end of may might get some going into june but we'll see i think the the heat will be too much for them i have mounded up the potatoes not every bag but like this one needs to be mounded up some more like this tall one but i mounded them up some and um any of them that were like equal of size i mounded up but they are getting really big like this one i mounted this one up you can see the dirt's probably four inches thicker but it needs to be mounted even still it's grown more since because we've gotten so much rain so we are getting you know bunches of those this one is kind of my problem bed right now and i'm trying to figure it out obviously the lettuce is doing fine lettuce is growing well i've been able to get a couple of um bowls of salad greens out of this along with turnip greens and cilantro and all this but look at the brussels sprouts Something's eating it. I was thinking cabbage worms, but there's no evidence of cabbage worms. Like I'm not seeing cabbage worms anywhere. Um, I thought maybe it was slug damage. That's why I've got, like this looks more like slug damage, but it, I've got the beer traps out. I'm not catching a single thing. Like there is nothing in that. Like there's no slugs in that. So I don't know. Well, maybe there's one in there now. I can't hardly tell, but um, yeah, I don't know. There might be one in there now, but like, all of the Brussels sprouts that were planted here have been eaten. A bunch of the ones, like the little ones, are being eaten before they can get big. But it's not touching the lettuce. Like, look how healthy that lettuce is. And we've been munching off of it and just stealing leaves everywhere. But it's even eating the carrots. Um, so, I don't know. I mean, you see that one back there? It's absolutely stripped. And when I had cabbage worm problems last year, they ate everything but the carrots. And that's why I'm thinking that it is not cabbage worms this time. And oh my goodness, look at this cilantro. It's like a hedge. Um, I'm leaving it alone to kind of let it do its thing. But I have been coming out and still picking off of it. Because cilantro is one of those things I haven't noticed a difference in the taste when it does start going to seed. I still use it. Um, but yeah, this is kind of my problem bed right now. I don't know what is going on. And whatever is in it is doing something similar to this too. I've not been noticing any like aphids, um, nothing obvious on these. I can't figure it out. The uh, maybe cutworms, but I've not been able to confirm like for sure that that's what's attacking it. Um, and if it is, I mean, I've only, I think I've seen two cutworms the entire time we were redoing the dirt in these beds out here, but none in these. I'm not seeing any ant hills, like ants that would have been cutting it up. Um, I'm not seeing anything like that. So I really don't know what is getting to that. And I really am just like kind of trial and error um, dealing with that because I don't know what to do about it. And, and I mean, you're gonna have positives and you're gonna have negatives. And you're, God, I've got a plane flying over, a little, um, <laughs> a little biplane. And I mean, you're gonna have your positives and your negatives. You're gonna have your wins and your fails, but you know, and I have a lot of things that are going positive right now, but that's one of the things I really would like to learn from and figure out what's going on with it. But I don't know, and we're just kind of trial and error messing around. But up here at these other beds, I wanted to show you the strawberries because they're spreading out more. Um, got more, again, the cilantro that's going to seed there. And look at those strawberries. They're putting out more tendrils. Um, we've got 
like fresh tendrils that are going out. Oh, and my uh, chives are blooming and I wanna do some, uh, get some of the blooms and infuse some oil with that, but we'll see when I get a chance to do it. I have not had a chance to stop and sit down and do anything. We've got a few strawberries starting under here that are actually gonna turn into strawberries rather than just dying off because we're finally starting to get some pollinators. The oregano is massive. I think we have to start cutting like huge swaths out of this to dry. The sage is looking magnificent. Um, and surprisingly, my rosemary is looking healthier. But um, out here, corn is growing. Everything's sprouted there. The uh, scallop squash is doing well. And this nasturtium right here, but then otherwise these are acorn squash. I have thinned them some. I've not thinned them a whole bunch. Like I probably need to pull one or two more out, but I haven't thinned them all. These are the Thai purple yard long beans here. And so they'll be coming up soon in the chimes. That was one of my souvenirs that I got from the little trip. Now I have planted the tigger melons down this one. They've not started coming up yet because I literally just planted them about three days ago. These are all cucumbers and it is the silver slicer cucumbers from Hudson Valley. And then um, on that end over there is the spaghetti squash. And I have thinned those some, but they're getting bigger and I will probably thin them again. We will see. These are all eggplants and they're alive still, but I've not really noticed any growth. And so we're just gonna kind of keep an eye on them. It has turned off a little cooler for eggplants and for peppers, but I'm hoping that they'll bounce back. And tomatoes, we are doing okay. I've been taking some of the suckers off. But I, again, I'm having one or two of these that's getting leaves cut off. And you can see where I've been digging in the dirt, like just to check and see if I can find any cutworms or like ant hills or anything that could be causing this. Because I've had like that one over here, like all the leaves were eaten off it, but one. I'll be we'll be lucky if that one survives. So we'll see. But speaking of survivors, you see this little guy? This little guy is one of my originals that the frost killed. And he is coming back. We've got him and him. And they are coming back. So I'm going to leave them alone. Let them have their chances. And watch them grow. But yeah. I'm, I'm just. I don't know what's causing this. And you see I've, I've got more of the beer traps out here too. Because I was thinking slugs again. But yeah. Look at that. I ate every bit of it. And I don't know. I'm not, I, I've dug around this as well. I don't know what's causing this. Again. I don't know if it's cutworms. Um, that one has a limb missing. It had gotten a limb on it, but that's old. Um, but it's got new growth, so I'm hoping that it'll be fine. Oh, and another survivor. This is the ground cherry that was killed. And it's coming back. So we'll see if they if they make it. We're just going to keep looking and keep watching. And, you know, hopefully they will survive. And, oh my goodness, guys, look at these. Look at this. This purple potted pea. It's not filling out yet, but they are there. I've got one there. And a couple on this side. Now this is cool. This one is green, like a normal pea, and then you got the purple one. And these are all the same plants, except for this one. And so, like this green one, just apparently didn't get the memo to turn purple. But yeah, there are several like hidden throughout there that you can see through the leaves. But I am getting to the point where I think the wind is what's getting this. But I've had one, like this one on the end, is starting to die off. And so I'm hoping that I can keep them alive long enough to get a couple of rounds of peas because this really was an experiment to see if I could get them to grow. These are just your standard, you know, climbing pole beans right here. They should start putting tendrils out like any time. Matter of fact, yep, I think that we've got a few starting like right in there, the tendrils. So they'll be climbing soon. Um, I have planted rattlesnake beans along this one. They're going to go up and over this. Um, and so beans is kind of the thing right now. These are the radishes I've let go to seed. I've heard that their pods that they create are really tasty. And so I'm going to try to get some of those and try them and see and maybe even pickle. These are basils that I've got going through here. And then I did a couple of new rows of radishes and you can see those coming up. And then one of the uh, uh, beets that survived. But yeah, there's a few radishes back in there still, but the rest of them I'm kind of letting go to seed. And then I've got these new little ones. But you see the little straggly things like there and there and there, like, and up under the leaves. Those are okra that I've got planted in between these rows. Um, you can see 
kind of like one right there um they're eventually going to get taller you can see them there's another one there and like right there they're all in there but the reason why i'm doing that is because we're going to be harvesting these soon or some of them look i'm so excited um i've got some that are bulbing up there but i've got a huge one so I'm gonna here can't get you down there to see it yeah look at that and we've already picked one there's one there it's huge and then that one back there is huge i'm not gonna get back in there and possibly step on plants but i know because i harvested one from back there that was you know like that big around and that one was its partner and it's already getting big too but yeah a bunch of these are all in here and we've been harvesting the greens as well and eating the greens because you can and as we pull these out the smaller ones will start filling in and so this will kind of be a progression of food and as this progresses through the okra will get taller and taller and taller and we'll shade these to make it cooler because turnips do not like warm weather and so and they're supposed to you know kind of work together at least that's my plan and we'll see how it works out but right now it seems to be doing okay you know the okra is growing but yeah i mean my rosemary knock on wood i've been watching for the blight that i've seen on it i mean we've got a few little little spots that look like they're trying to die off but i'm not seeing any of that big black blot. i cut a bunch of it off you know early on and so maybe maybe i can get this one to survive you see this stupid mint all the way over here like up under the sage and all the way over here it's everywhere and these are also random turnips in here and this is catnip that has self-seeded has several rounds of it i'm gonna leave it i love to have the catnip for the cats and for tea so it self-seeds so i never know i originally planted it in this bed and so i never know where it's gonna turn up in this bed and that's okay because this is the herb bed and it i mean really it's not bothering anything and it'll eventually get so full that it won't be able to come up. And I'll have to figure out somewhere else to plant it. But yeah, that's the majority of things right now. I do have, a, oh, there's Trig. I do have a couple of things planted back there where he's at. Um, but, but it's all basil. And so he's on the loose and he's on the run. So I'm going to go. <laughs> and uh, yeah, baby, you can ride your bike. So yeah, um, I'm going to go and let him ride his back but i just wanted to kind of give you an update on everything that's growing in um pretty much everything's planted i may succession so a few other things like just to kind of like get some more basil going and you know um the beans i think I've, i'm gonna take out the gladiolas and i'm gonna put more like dragon tongue beans in that barrel but other than that i mean everything everything's planted and everything's moving and growing and we're switching stuff out so we're moving forward and so i'll probably give it another couple of weeks depending on how much this changes in just a few days um with all this rain we'll see how much it changes but um i'm just kind of doing the tours right now because we're so busy with everything else um that things are just exhausting and i don't have the mental capacity to put together um videos right now so we're just doing walkthroughs and so it may be another week or so before I do another one just to show you a difference. Maybe 10 days, maybe two weeks, depending on how much has changed. So, you guys, I'll see you later. And we'll watch the garden grow.